ஸ்ரீ குருபிய நமக சில்ட்ரன் வி வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா சில்ட்ரன் வி சீன் ஆல்ரெடி டூ லெசன்ஸ் இன் தேர்ட் லெசன் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பிளான் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி த டாபிக் த ஸ்டேம் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஓகே வி ஆல்ரெடி ஸ்டடீட் வாட் ஆர் த பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பிளான் ஒன் இஸ் ஷூட் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் நம்பர் டூ இஸ் ரூட் சிஸ்டம் இன் ஷூட் சிஸ்டம் வி சீன் ஆல்ரெடி ஓகே many things in that one of the part going to see is stem okay stem where it will grow it will grow above the ground it will grow above the ground which will grow below the ground as it is root very good children the, the stem grows above the ground is for stem do all the stems is similar to each other no no when it is in the her shrub stage or herb stage or when it become a big tree definitely there is a variation in the stem no about that one you going to see now so i have taken a example of a stem to explain you a neem tree the stem of a neem tree see look at this picture the neem tree see the part of it the stem no the stem is called as a trunk you cannot call the stem as a stem okay when it is become a tree you have to call it is a trunk why no it is hard strong and woody see hard strong and woody okay it will be, this is the appearance will have when it is become a big tree that is why you have to call in the name of trunk what is the trunk spelling t r u n k trunk got it children so how will you call the uh, stem part of a tree as in the name of trunk how it would be it would be in the uh, it would be hard strong and woody very good now look at this picture what is the second example banana tree even though this is a banana no look at the stem part of it what is the color now as it is green in color when you see in the neem tree it was brown now it is green so which mean the stem will vary now with comparison between those tree and this banana tree that was very hard it is soft so the banana tree is green in color the stem of a banana tree is green in color and it is it is thick then it is so soft okay so this is how the stem is very compared to one tree to the another tree now another example is money plant money plant is green weak and soft okay so second example i have chosen here is money plant you would have seen this how the stem would be no see this so weak it is so that it cannot climb stand upright like other plant okay the you you saw the tree neem tree banana tree how it is standing it is standing like us no how we are standing with the help of a skeleton the same way those every plants are standing but in the case of money plant it cannot withstand upright why because the stem this is so weak so that it cannot stand upright how it will stand then with this support if you are giving a support to it with that help of it it make itself wise spiral and climb above the surface so that is why this is called as climb the plants understood children you seen about what are the difference of stem it would have okay when it is a big tree you have to call it in the name of trunk okay now what is the what are the functions of the stem you are going to see the main function of the stem is to hold the plant upright as i told you earlier the all the plants are trees are standing with the help of a stem so that is the first function it is doing
to all the plant upright and it's giving support to the branches if you see in the tree you can see many branches do it have only one branch or two branch more than number of branches are there all these are holding okay who is holding that it's holding by the stem so that it supports the branches the main function of the stem is first to hold the plants upright to standing upright second function it supports the branches with that what is the work doing you no know? very important work when you pour water to the plant who is observing that as root is observing from the root the stem collecting the water and minerals and then Uh, absorbed by the roots they travel up to the stem and then it reaches to the branches the water and minerals absorbed by the soil you no know, absorbing from the soil by which part root part that is collecting from it and taking to all the branches and leaves so that they until to reach the last leaf of the tree the stem is supplying all these water and minerals so that it is helping to stand upright it is supporting the branch and providing all the food uh, food to prepare a food no this is supporting which is supporting stem is supporting by supplying the water and minerals this is how the stem is helping the plants that is why you can call the stem is also the main part of the plant so you know very well plant can prepare its own food isn't it so that each and every part of a plant can prepare its food in that stem is also helping no so that it will also have some food to be stored in it so the stored food is we are eating no definitely would like to have a sugar cane sugar cane so sweet to taste is no would have seen this you would have seen this during festival time sugar cane this is also a stem part and ginger and potato see there is some important information you have to know about this ginger and potato do you know where it will grow it will grow under the ground which part will grow under the ground as root okay so that you can say this is a root definitely not though even though it's growing under the ground you cannot call this is a root these are stem the ginger and potato are stems only it is not a root so do you know what are the benefits so sweet and these are used as a best medicine when you are affecting with the cold and this is definitely everybody would like to have a chips no so for all these things this is a extra food we are eating as a food as and the children i hope this is the concept very very clear to you we'll see you in the next topic okay children thank you